Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to create asset project without VS Code. We can create asset project using VS Code but this is the different video about this project creation. So if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end and please like, share, comments and subscribe the channel for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side. Okay. So before that we have some prerequisites. So you have to check your each and every commands inside your terminal. So I I'm just using this PowerShell. You can use CMD or any you know Jet cell. Okay. So for now here you can see my PowerShell. So before that you have to check your SFDX command or you can convert your SFDX command into SF. So I'm using this SF command to creating the project. But you can check each and every commands here, right? But before that, you have to check like SF. So once you type SF, you have to check this uh, Salesforce CLI is installed in your machine or not. So it's opened me lots of command here. Once you enter this SF command, now you can see each and everything here, right? Like SF command. So this is a new one, like topics, analytics, Apex, CMD, everything you can see, like or limit, login, org, and also project. You will see the project here. Right, how to create the asset project. So based on this, you know, like uh, topics, we can use this one. Okay. So how to do that? So before that, let me check my, you know, Java as well, because I need to check the Java. So here you can see the Java. You can check uh, uh, Node as well. Let's say Node version. So here you can see the Node version. So I already installed lots of things. You can check each and every, you know, software, you know. So just let me check this SF command to create the SF project, right? So you have to check like SF then hyphen hyphen help. So once you give this SF hyphen hyphen help, so it's showing some, you know, commands and you have to follow that command and you can create your project. So I want to create the project. So just you have to search here like project. So just go down here and again, you have to use like SF project and hyphen hyphen help. Because I want to create the project. So here you can see this one, right? So now SF project hyphen hyphen health. So here you can see like project generate, list, retrieve, convert, delete, everything you can see here, right? So I want to use this generate command and create a manifest file and create lots of, you know, projects, DX project. So command uh, project generate, generate a SF DX project. So I want to use this generate command. So how to use that? So let's say generate hyphen hyphen help. Need some help from Salesforce side to generate SFDX project. So here you can see SF project generate. And after that, now you can see each and every topics and project, everything here. Right. So this one. So you have to give like SF project generate hyphen hyphen name and your project name. Right. So before that, you have to copy this command here. Let's say this one, just copy this command and go down here. So instead of my work, so after executing this command, SF project generate hyphen hyphen name and the project name. So you can see all file or metadata and folder structure is created in this directory like C, user, Android. And let me open that uh, project here. So CD, you have to use this CD. Uh, let me open my come uh, this project so let me check each and everything here let's see this one yeah so right now i'm in my project directory so i'm just enter it here salesforce hunt this is my project name now it's time to do one thing how to authorize this project with salesforce because i already created these files using this as a command but how to authorize very simple just you have to use that command like sf okay SF force auth and login this one right and before that you, you can take here like login so let me take some help from you know Salesforce site so just you have to check this auth web login so once you type this command SF force auth web login so it it will be showing like uh, how to authorize it okay very simple and very useful so just I'm I want to use this command. So just let me copy this one. Okay. 
and let me execute this command here leave it as it is this command and enter it and after some time it will be open the browser and you have to see here and you have to authorize that org right yeah so in the browser window you can see uh, one uh, tab is opened automatically and you have to authorize your org so let me log in into this org and let me enter my password here and uh, once you enter it click on this login button and you will be see some success message after the authorization right so now some process is going on behind the scene and you will be see some here authentication successfully you have successfully logged in you can close this browser window or tab right so you can close it like this and go to the command now you can see successfully authorize this this org and org id this so we already authorized this org now it's time to run another command to open this org right because we already created the project authorized the project and uh, now it's time to open this org so how to open the org very simple just you have to use sf so just you have to take some help here so you have to open your project so how to open that very simple just you have to check like sf and uh, force hyphen hyphen help and in this help we can check uh, our command to open the org right so we can take some help from the salesforce site now you can see org or something like that so i need to check this one like org okay so let me use like sf force org hyphen hyphen help so you can take some help from the salesforce site like this and just wait for some time now you can see uh, another command force org open so we have to use this command sf force org open and just enter it so once you enter it so it's automatic open my org we already authorize it and we have we already created the project and after some time you can see my org here right so this is the very simple to open the org here so after some time it's open the you know project and the browser window now you can see and the browser window is open and it's open the org here with created new project no need worry about every time to use like vs code but this is the best practice always use the vs code but for the ci cd purpose that's why i'm showing this some commands to automatic your business automation so this is the way to create the project authorize the org and open the you know org in the browser you can use another parameter to open the uh, like Mo mozilla firefox is or chrome which uh, default browser you want to show so by the way uh, in my computer this is the uh, chrome browser by default in your org, org or in your computer maybe another browser is set as a default like is or mozilla so you can open this uh, org by default in chrome but you can change this by default behavior using some commands so let me open this command and take some help so just enter this help here and let's see because i want to open this you know project inside my mozilla browser firefox so you can pass that parameter inside this command and you will be see here so after that you can see this command sf org open hyphen hyphen target org and my target org browser which browser you want to use so just copy it okay and just paste it here and after that you have to change your project like target org because target org my target org is dev hub like this and hyphen hyphen browser firefox just enter this command and once you enter it now firefox will be open and with this project so it takes some time and now you will be see some uh, you know tricks tips and tricks to open the and to avoid the default behavior of the project now you can see enable it lightning experience and it's open the uh, firefox here after some time now you can see my firefox is opened here and it's open be my org here so this is salesforce org in the you know firefox browser so no need worry about like every time to open your org inside google chrome or any kind of browser right so you can just pass this parameter and you can open it let me show you how to open the in the as same thing you can use inside 
uh, this uh, command so instead of firefox you can use like is like is and hit the enter key so once you enter it now you will be see uh, this project will be open in the is browser so after some time after some time you will be see this project in will be open inside is browser is browser is open here as a default using that command and now my project is open here in the is now you can see salesforce project is open successfully in the is you can change the behavior based on your requirement all right so this is a very helpful co command inside this as a project how to create that how to authorize how to open it and how to open as a project in different different browser so that is the tricks tips and tricks here okay so guys if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys